Please remember to subscribe, click the bell, and enable all notifications. A colossal shout out and thank you to all my awesome members. To join them in becoming a member and support the channel, check out the links in the description down below. Hey guys, and welcome back to Seminates that I, Darkest Falls Mod. So, after a little bit of off camera grinding and mixing and matching and repairing, um, yeah, we have a ton of stuff that we need to do right now. It is day 69, but as you guys can see, it's 8 o'clock, so we need to hurry right now. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to read these two Futures Now books. I uh, made them with the 25, well, we have five left. Uh, 20 of the 25 red notes that we got during the Big Tech Lab, I made those books. So now we can unlock these two. So apparently you can read them, so I'm going to just do this. And then it's going to make a red tick, and once you get once you get to that level, yeah. Once you get to that level, uh, it's going to be unlocked. So by the time we reach 150, it's going to automatically unlock. And 175, it's going to automatically unlock. So I'm going to make sure we read these now, so that's out of the way. Um, I'm going to take all my horde stuff downstairs so we don't forget. And then we need to quickly just take these. Um, these are the... What do you call these again? I keep forgetting the name. <laughs> Technological boosts. Uh, basically, I made all these last episode. So we're just quickly going to take them. Um, yeah, we're taking the transhuman... Ooh, I made the wrong one first. I should have made the physical conditioning first. All five. Basically, what we need at the moment is steroids should be able to quickly make that steroid let me just quickly check steroids if i can get the last steroid and get this done this episode let me know awesome we are fully enhanced oh but we need the testosterone extract and i don't think yeah that's our old base i said last episode i was thinking of going there but i just didn't have the time because i was repair uh, repairing and preparing everything else for the horde uh so yeah we're just gonna do this as you guys can see our max stamina and health everything's going up on the left that's awesome uh, but we still need to invest our skill points in health nuts over here. The sooner we get this maxed out, the sooner our wildness and everything goes up again. So I think we should be about 350... No, that's already 350. We should be about 500 HP and stamina as soon as we've maxed that out. But for now, what I'm aiming for is going to be the armor one over here. One more point and we can make ourselves some titanium armor and combine them for the best armor possible. Okay. We're going to take this down with us. Some steel as well. Um, we do have quite a bit of titanium over here. So we just need some more clay. And we should be able to make ourselves a ton of titanium. Whether it be forged titanium or the blocks. I'm actually... My preference is the blocks. Because then you can add uh, tweaks and stuff to your horde defense. But for now, I'm thinking we are ready to go downstairs. It's a shame that this is a no trader series. Because I could have bought so much from the trader already. It's insane. Um, I wonder if I should... Oh, what do you need to repair a, a titanium blade trap like this again? I can't remember. And should I put the electric fence post now or later? That's the big question. Uh, these are just switches and then we should have some relays as well. Let me just go downstairs and try it. Perhaps I can actually put some defenses at the moment. Oh, wow. My health is not near where I want it to be right now. Um, I really don't want to use these first aid kits, but I mean, since they heal 60 at a time... The rest over there should heal itself, more or less. Oh, we are at 400, 400. So that skill I was talking about, the health one, is just for in case you want to... Uh, if you die, your health doesn't go too low, basically. Oh, hello, hello, hello. I should actually be working outside of here with my night vision goggles. Because then at least I should be able to walk over here. Oh, also what I need to do is I need to go and wrench all these lights. I want to dark around my base. Only the defense should be dark, or should be light. Okay, you're dead. Can't see any zombies walking around over here, but it's so dark. Oh, there's one over there. A nurse, but she's too far away, so I'm not going to worry about that. See, we need to be careful um, of the... Come on. There you go. We need to be careful of all the zombies and stuff in the area. I don't want them interfering with us while we're busy over here, but... Our armor and our health, everything is so high at the moment. We shouldn't have to worry. I just can't wait for this next ward. Guys, if you want to get that flickering way, that weird stuff that's not spawning in, just go into console and type POIs. But for now, I need to get other stuff done before I worry about that. So what I'm going to do... Can I make this jump? Oh, no, but I can't. Um, we're going to just quickly... Oh, we can't make that. Because all the stuff in the way... Oh, wait, I can. No, I can't. I need to find another way for myself into the space. You can just see it turn nighttime. Damn it. And we don't have laser tech with us. Uh, let's just quickly clear out the area. 
I need to do some up, uh, upgrades and repairs and stuff, but right now, these zombies are in the way. Okay. They, uh, they're hitting each other, but doing damage to me, which is not good. It's nice that the aim is not bad, but they don't have, really have to hit you. All they have to do is hit the ground beside you. Ooh, look at all these zombies. All they have to do is hit the ground beside you and it actually explodes AOE damage. Oh wow, you are a big boy. Okay, and then just pour the water out, right? Click. Damn, okay, yeah. Oh, hello. You can see our game stage is getting higher and higher and higher because these zombies are getting tougher and tougher. Oh, okay. Remember guys, uh, as soon as you can hit, or as long as you can hit them before they vomit, they can't uh, fire that projectile at you. But even if they do, all you need to do is jump because they are really bad shots. Oh, you actually managed to hit. Oh wow, John. That's some really bad shooting. Okay, so at the moment, our oh, health, okay, we are infected. I should remedy that, uh, that but for now. As long as we're not dying. <laughs> That's the only big thing right now. As long as we're not dying, we're fine. Although we are close to dying, so I should probably... Guys, we need to be careful. We're getting to a high enough game stage where there could easily be, uh, be behemoths and stuff walking around as well. Okay, I hit him once. And because I hit him that one time, he's not firing the projectile. Okay, I don't want to get too far away from my base because the more you fire your gun, the more attention you're going to attract to yourself. So those can come to me. But I just hope they don't destroy my loot over here because I want to put all my horde defenses and stuff inside my base. Uh, they do feel like they're getting closer and closer every now and then. So I think what I'm going to do... Wait, what? Why did that just not spawn in? Okay, uh, what I want to do quickly is we want to repair these. Uh, did I bring... No, I didn't. A laser multi-tool. I was so focused on... Wait, what are you breaking? I was so focused on killing these zombies just now, uh, I didn't think of what I need to upgrade and repair. Okay, they're getting closer. While they're getting closer, let's just quickly go get that laser multi-tool. We're going to need one anyways if we're going to repair all our broken stuff during the horde. I want to say we can also get ourselves some antibiotics, but we do have herbal antibiotics on us as well. So, let's just quickly drink this one. Uh, ooh, oh no, they have respawned. This is not good. This is my base, damn it. Oh, uh, this means, okay, uh, I'm gonna have to put my bedroll and land claim up here. If the zombies downstairs respawn, that's fine, but, ooh, they're gonna respawn in our horde base. So I'm gonna have to make sure I make a new base as soon as possible. This is just for now, so we have stuff to pl uh, place. If there's any demonics up here, guys, if they vomit at my stuff over here, we're going to be screwed. Imagine them accidentally vomiting or purposefully vomiting at the boxes and we lose all our loot. Um, so what I'm either going to have to do is make my own base down here, like cave this whole thing in. I think that might actually work. We just need to move all our loot first. I need to cave this, cave this whole thing in so I can just build on top of this pillar over here. Um, and then we can make our, our own base down here. I think that's going to be the best course of action. Uh, but then again, if zombies do spawn in a distance, what's going to end up happening is they're going to fall from on top. So we need to be careful they don't fall on our heads every now and then. I was wondering where all those zombies were coming from. Now I know they're respawning over here. Okay, those fire guys. I don't think you heard the commotion just now. See, that's why you need your night vision goggles on you so you can uh, so you can actually take care of these zombies coming for you. Okay, so what I want to do now, we're just quickly going to upgrade this. We should have all the upgrade. Yep, there you go. Steel. Steel. Nice. Fully upgraded. We're just going to make sure we upgrade all these blocks over here. I didn't bring titanium with me. We're going to have to go upstairs again. I want to put titanium blocks over here so we can put more of these hatches and then just open them. So close, they're going to be against that block. And when we open them, they're going to block off the zombies over here. Um, I actually saw defense on one of on someone's YouTube channel that I thought, oh, wow, I really want to try that. Basically, it's hatches all over. And then the zombies can go zigzag around. But there's so many options that you can actually make that better with. 
all you need to do is, for example, like place uh, blade traps in the walls, make the hallway a little bit thinner. So if you do stuff like that, your base will be banging. Oh, now, the problem is, am I still healing myself? As it seems, antibiotics medicine, 11%. Okay, cool. So the infection should go away. What is this? Spider. I really don't like the noise he's making over here. There you go. Okay, so I just quickly... Oh, there's a vulture somewhere. Hello, vulture. Oh, there you go. Um. Oh, wow. It's so dark. I couldn't really see, uh, tell where it was coming from. But you guys, if we can just quickly make sure that we cave in this whole base over here. With titanium tools, that shouldn't take too long. Um, cave, everything, cave in everything from the top, but I'm going to do that after the horde. Because even that's going to take forever. And the debris everywhere is going to be insane. Okay, so we need some titanium blocks over here. Uh, titanium, there you go. I need to make sure... Wait, wait, wait. Let me just quickly take one of those bandages. If I'm not mistaken, this helps with that. Yeah, there you go. Abrasion. But I want to make sure that zombies can't catch me like that. So we need to uh, we need to count like 10 or 20 blocks up. Um, It needs to be high enough or low enough. So we don't have to worry about succubi or demons and stuff going for that defense. How am I going to do that? I think from from here on up, there needs to be like 5 or 10 blocks so the zombies can't reach. Even if they explode, they mustn't be able to damage my floors. Damn. Just the, just the fact that the zombies respawned really put a damp on my plans right now. Every time I see there's a zombie closer and closer and closer. And I can't afford to work on my base with these guys so close by. Especially, imagine you put all your loot uh, in a box or something and there's a vomit and boom, everything's gone. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to do this. Um, we're going to lock this one and this one, I think. And then we can actually jump up here should something happen during the horde. So we can, uh, we're going to do that. And then what I want to do is we have wooden ones over here. Now, the wooden ones are just easier to place. You don't, you don't make so much mistakes, so many mistakes. Uh, we're going to do this. So when you open it up, it blocks the zombies from getting in. So that's just for in case they break this. You can just quickly close that. You can shoot their legs, shoot their heads, whatever. I need to actually make also a floor or something at the back over here. Where I can stand on top and shoot at them. And then when they're gone, I can close it and quickly replace this hole over here. So we're going to do the same with that one. Yep. And now all we need to do is quickly upgrade them. Oh, we don't have the iron ones. Um, Hatch. Iron hatch. Just make two of those. See, but it's really, actually really, really, really easy getting your base done like this. You just need to really think how you want it. Okay, so over there for now, we're going to have everything else. Um, everything for the ward, basically, for the actual day 70 ward. We're just going to drop in here. I don't know if I should put more. No, we don't need more storage chests. We just need to put all our loot up there. And then I need to lock my inventory because it's, again, once, well, once again, a super mess. Oh, I also need to make way more of these uh, quill rounds because we are running out. I've been using them uh, non-stop for the past few episodes, so we are almost out. I'm going to put that one up there. This one, Quill. <laughs> Take a look at it, it's for the Horde, but we can keep it on us for now. Okay, and then these we're going to put over there. These are just going to be for the poles over here. If these poles get destroyed, all we need to do is replace the poles. I want to make the roof thicker as well on one side, so that I'm able to see the succubi demons flying down. Okay, so now that that is done, we just do this. It's so nice, we can just upgrade fully. See, we're going to have the forged titanium on us for in case this starts getting damaged and the blade traps start getting damaged. I also want to check, what do you need to upgrade or to repair this? Just forged titanium, awesome. So, um, I've been thinking of using switches and stuff, but I don't think this defense is big enough. Because if you use a switch and that switch gets destroyed, but then again, also, if you use a... Uh, generator like this and that gets destroyed so if i can make my base really close by and have it on the roof or in the walls over there then we can make sure that the generator doesn't get destroyed and if the generator doesn't get destroyed we don't have to worry about the blade traps stopping working so i don't want to use any junction boxes relays anything over here but we are going to have to use it for the electric fence post though but i wonder should we have electric fence posts over here it's not really going to be that necessary is it I need to make way more titanium. I just realized those uh, blade traps at the back are still open. It's going to make too much noise for now. So we'll put this one away. Uh, we are going to keep 
some steel over here and some titanium. Boom. If I'm not mistaken, you can actually make those blocks, titanium blocks, with forged titanium as well. These blocks over here. Is it just with that or can you actually make them as well with others? That would be awesome. Okay, as you guys can see over here, we are so close. Oh, I can already make the titanium boots to level 61. But I haven't put a point over here yet. I wonder if I place this one over here, will I be able to make level 61 armor? Because I need the armor to be as good as possible. Oh, it's already 61. Will I be able to make level 71 armor? Because if I can make the level 71 armor, I just have to combine three boots. If I make this one, I have to combine four or five boots. So in that case... I want to make the armor anyway, so I'm going to do it quickly now. Even if it's a waste of resources and you have to combine more blocks. Um, I want to see if we can't also get some clay somewhere. We do have an August. So we just have to go dig in the hill or something over there. Uh, remember guys, if you want more resources, use the shovel. But we're in a little bit of a hurry. So even though you get less resources, it is faster using the auger. I wonder how long it's going to take me to cave this place in. I don't want to try it right now just before the horde. After the horde, we'll have time. I'm just afraid that if we try it now and we lose our uh, our storage or all our stuff up here, that's going to suck. Because basically, I, I'm going to have to go and pick up all this stuff again. And that's going to take forever. Okay, resources. We do have... We have some clay left. I can't see clay. No. But sometimes I actually drop the clay in the wrong boxes. So it's possible we do have some clay somewhere. I just can't see it right now because I misplaced it. But the easiest thing to do is just do this and see if it stacks somewhere. If, you, if it doesn't go here, it's stacking. We need to make more mods with these. We need to make more classes. I want to master the hunter class next. Because with that one, we can get the advanced uh, magazine extender. And that's way, way, way more shots per. Okay, so what I said I want to do is I want to make more titanium blocks. I want to make some armor as well. Let me just grab these. And we're going to use this one over here. I wonder, we should be able to make it here and in the advanced workbench, right? So if I make one, two, three, four, five. Can we make five of here as well? That's going to save me a lot of time if I don't have to use just the other workbench. Although I doubt it. Okay, let's see. Boots. No, it has to be in the... Oh, that sucks. Okay, we're going we're to be able to make ourselves armor slowly but surely. I don't want to make more than this because then you stand a chance of accidentally losing. Remember guys, since this output, it doesn't stack. If you make eight, the, uh, the seventh one pops over here and the eighth one disappears. And that's the worst feeling in the world. So while this is busy crafting over here, we're going to do some building. Um, I think the only place I'm going to put some electric fence posts. Boom, don't want to break my legs. The only place I'm going to put electric fence posts is going to be... Perhaps... With their heads over here. So it's not going to be bottom and top. It's just going to be where their heads are. And then also on the roof. Because when the succubi demons fly through the roof. I want to shock them in place. So I can hit them with a laser tech. What is that? Is that just my imagination? It looks like something was blinking in the distance over there. It might just be something like that. Or the stuttering over there. But if you do this quickly. Your eyes. At least that flickering will go away. But I really thought I saw... Yeah, that looks like a light flickering or a star over there. Is that... I don't know if that's on my screen or if you guys can see that as well. It's gone now. So I think it's in the game. I might be seeing like a succubus or something flying around. That's a scary thought. Okay, so I'm going to need more titanium quickly because I need to quickly cover this up. And as soon as we have it covered up, we can place the electric fence posts. I'm going to have to think of another way in the... It sucks that I have to run around the back to be able to jump up. And if these get destroyed, then what am I going to do? So we can open that up for now. Um, we need these blocks. So I'm going to have to make more blocks before the horde. Which means we need to go find some titanium or some clay now. We do have some clay on us, so we'll be able to make a few of those blocks. It's just, guys, if that pole over there breaks, we need to be able to replace it with another pole. Remember, steel uh, hatches and stuff will not last long. It lasts, but not very long. Okay, so for now, we can put these away. I need to make more of these as well. Uh, let me just do this. I want to be able to jump up over here. Thank you. We're literally just going to go and make sure we copy shape or copy rotation. One, two, three, four. Just for now, we're going to do this one over here as well, but... 
I mean, we don't have the enough blocks or enough resources right now. It's not this one that we need to... We do need to cover that, but it's not that that we need to cover right now. So basically, what I need to do now... Let me just get off the ground over here. It's going to be this one. Remember, the other blade trap is, is a block higher, and that's where you put that. We want the electric fence post going straight across. Now, this might be a dumb thing to do because uh, it's just wood. So if zombies come across me, they're going to break this so easily. What I want to do quickly is just this. Now, this might break during the horde, guys. Not going to lie, because... I mean, it's out in the open. Um... I shouldn't do this one. Can I pick it up? Yes. The uh, reason for that is it's going to shock me. I'm going to stand on the inside next to this and it's going to shock me. So it needs to be this one over here. This first block. Two, three. It doesn't have to be more, much. In that case, I should actually be able... Damn, I, I need two more blocks. I should be able to do top and bottom. Because I only need like the, this kill box over This is going to be a kill box. They're going to get hit by the, uh, the blade of blade, blade trap. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Obviously with this one. And then get shocked. If their legs get shocked and their bodies get shocked, that's all I need. But then I also need to be able to cover that. So we're going to need so much resources, guys. Um, my problem at the moment is if a spider manages to jump up here, it's going to do this. Boom. Inside. And then we're going to have a problem. Especially if you're facing demons and stuff, all of a sudden there's a zombie inside with you. And if that's a demonic zombie, that's all the more reason. Okay, so let me just see how much we're actually going to need for this. If I need to quickly grab the auger and go get some uh, clay, why not? Come on, come on, come on. I want to do the... I want to finish the preparation for this episode. So next episode, we can go looting and have some fun. And then we're going to face the horde. Um, I'm not going to use the switch right now. Weapon parts... Okay, uh, yeah, clay soil. We do need some titanium over here. I have no idea how many blocks we can actually make. I don't think it's going to be much. Because these blocks are really expensive. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, this one over here. Oh, only five blocks. We need way more than this. Well, no, wait. We might not need more than this. We just need those, where the electric fence posts are. So if I can just cover those blocks. So five should technically be enough. I'm going to make two with this one. Wait. Um, let's make two with this one. This way it's going to be way faster done. One with this one. One with this one. And then all five should be done within like a minute or two. Um, I would just want to put this exactly where I'm going to put the electric fence post. And then we're going to put the electric fence post on top of that. But we do need clay. So I'm wondering if I shouldn't just quickly go mine a little bit of clay. It's going to make a ton of noise. Um, it is past morning though, so I shouldn't have to worry too much. I think let's fill this up, this puppy up. And then tool mods. Yes, we have a big tool, a uh, big motor tool. So basically this should give enough gas. And then as soon as we run out of gas, that's enough clay for now. And like I said, guys, we're not going to get a ton of clay with this. We're definitely not going to get enough clay. But we're just going to get enough for now to make a few blocks that we might be able to use during the horde. That's all a lot, uh, a lot of ifs, buts, and ands. Uh, drop this. I'm gonna keep the titanium on me because we might be able to use that. Do this. One, two. Okay, now we can actually make the next one as well. That was boots. Chest plates. We're gonna need five. One, two, three, four, five. We should be done before this is up. Um, I'm actually scared to leave right now. I think let's wait for these boots to finish because then it's two, four, six, seven. And like I said, it finishes six, drops the seventh one. Just in case, I really don't want to take a chance of losing any um, titanium right now. I mean, this is expensive. Look at this. That just goes to 67. So hopefully adding three more will get me to 80. Otherwise, I'm just going to stop at whatever it stops at. I mean, it gets really damaged. I'll make another pair. By then, our level should be high enough that it doesn't make that it doesn't really matter. I am going to have to make myself some anti-rad me uh, medication because to take off my current clothing that has the rad protection on, I'm going to get infected or I'm going to get radiated. And that does give you a ton of damage. Like you're actually afraid you're going to die. Okay, so let's quickly go get ourselves some clay. I wonder what's going to be the best spot to get the clay from right now. Let me just see. Let me just see. We are very close to the burnt biome over here. So I wonder if I should quickly go dig there. I mean, obviously, all over there is... Uh, some of these PIs have some dirt on them. 
But I don't know if I really want to dig in this biome because it's going to call too much attention to myself. So we're literally just going to go to the hill at the back of here. I'm going to jump over because I don't think we'll be able to drive all the way across. And when we get back, our armors should be done. We can actually put more in. We need to be careful of behemoths and stuff right now. There's actually a POI on the left over here that I really want to go try and loot. Hello, hello, hello. You know what? Let me just do this. Pick this up. We're going to shoot these zombies. Okay, a ton of spiders over here. And snakes as well. Whoa. Where did all these zombies come from all of a sudden? Oh, I don't want to get a snake bike. Uh, snake bike. <laughs> snake bite. See, just shooting a few zombies actually stirs up so many zombies. It's insane. Hello, big boy. You are a... Okay, tourist. From what I thought it might be a problem. And every time you jump down, you jump... Oh! boy hello 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 at least she's not mutated because she'd heal the guy as well okay guys that's why you need to be careful in this biome we're so close to the burnt biome and i was like okay we should be safe now look at this there's a behemoth right here and he actually came charging across or along the ridge over here so we need to be really really careful i think let's just get a little bit out of this biome that hill over there should be enough should be far enough away we can still easily get attacked by like a bear or dogs and stuff in this biome or vultures. Like that vulture over there. As soon as I start making noise, it's going to get closer. That was already coming for me because my health is so low. Okay, so we have 600... Ooh, 1,000 gas. So all we're going to do is get enough clay over here to quickly make ourselves at least like 10 or 20 more of those blocks. If we can get five blocks for the horde and a few blocks for our own building, ba uh, our own base, that should be enough. Basically, what I mean by that is we need building blocks because our base is not done. But we also need repair blocks in case something breaks during the horde. So five blocks will go for the repairs. Remember guys, our level and game stage is really getting up there right now. So we need to start getting more serious and more careful. I'm just afraid of like a big behemoth, the bulky one, the buff one attacking me right now. Especially with my back turned because sometimes... Even though this is not the wasteland, this is the burnt biome, they do wander around their own biome. Like not inside, but outside, on the outskirts. Okay, 800 gas, where are you? I heard a rawr sound. See, these zombies are really, really weak, but then you get the behemoths and stuff, and you take so many shots. I mean, I'm running out of coil ammo right now. But after this horde, I'm gonna have to focus. At least we're getting a ton of play right now. But I'm actually going to be able to make myself some casings. I think I should really make sure that we don't use all our clay just in titanium. I need some steel casings for armor-piercing 0.44 rounds. And then we need more scrap polymers and stuff. So from now on, when we go through POIs, we need to make sure we wrench everything. Or just make sure I'm not too lazy and just actually go for the stuff. Because what usually ends up happening is I'm so lazy, I said, ah, I can always do it later. And then now we need resources. Man, the gas is actually almost not depleting at all. I've been digging how long we still have, like 600 left. Although we do need to be careful. If I accidentally start spawning a streamer right now, there might be some demonic zombies in there. I hear more footsteps, so there's more zombies around here. That's the only bad thing about digging on a hill. You don't see the zombies coming. You can only, you can only hear them when you stop digging. I saw that one behind me just now. I should actually just cut away and catch you guys back when my gas runs out. Because we're only halfway right now. See, so even though we're getting less clay than we would have with a shovel, it's faster and we already have three, four, four and like a quarter stacks. That's insane. So I'm just going to cut away and use up the rest of the gas and see you guys when we... Ooh, that would have been, been bad. See you guys when we have enough clay. Okay, I just actually give myself a fright. I accidentally hit some stone over here and I thought it was something shooting at me. Even though I don't think there's any bandits with guns out here at the moment. Okay, so. Nice, nice, nice. I actually leveled up. That's a nice thing about the auger. It's noisy, doesn't give you a ton of resources, but... 
Ta-da! Gives you some uh, XP over here. So what I need to do now is quickly get back to the base. Um, I need to put some resources in there. And also, I need to see if I can make myself some better armor right now. Remember, I, I, I even uh, said to myself, I wonder if I'm going to be able to make better quality armor with that one uh, maxed out right now. If I can make level 71 armor, that's going to be epic. That's going to be really, really awesome. I just want to see if there's no more demonics and beams and stuff around here. I think even the metro station, the zombies should be respawning around about now. So I need to be super careful when we come across places like this. But yeah, guys, just that just now. Let me just show you guys this. Uh, if you just sort this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half stacks of clay, just with one tank of gas. So, um, yeah, it's not as much uh, a resource as we would have gotten with a shovel if you destroyed the same amount of blocks, but it was way, way, way faster. So I think I'm just going to call the episode here, guys. Uh, next episode, we're going to just make sure we're ready for this horde. Um, I do want to just quickly uh, connect all those... Oh, this takes forever. I just really want to connect all those electric fence posts, and then we should be ready for the horde. See, that's one away. So this would be a waste. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to keep the boots. And then as soon as we get really close to... Yeah, I think if this one gets depleted, destroyed, we'll combine this. That should make it level 80 and repair it. Otherwise, that's going to be a massive, massive waste. So that armor's going to go in there. I'm just going to put all the proper armor there in there as well. If I don't have anything to um, get cancel the radiation, I can't take my armor off now. Unless you just quickly go over the hill again, swap out the armor, boom, voila. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends. Uh, any comments or tips or feedback, leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button for more of this channel. <laughs> for more of this content. See you guys next time.